274. Which is it? 274. Our batting average is zero on this patrol. Let's see if we can hit a sitting duck this time. Range, Mark. 1,600 yards. Target course, 185. Speed, 9. Make ready the bow tubes. Open outer doors. Make ready the bow tubes. Open outer doors. Make ready the bow tubes. Set depth 10 feet. Set depth 10 feet. Set depth 10 feet. Target bearing 220. Sound. As soon as we fire a fish, that destroyer is going to wake up. Let me know when he starts looking for us. Aye, aye, sir. We'll be on the bearing in 15 seconds, Captain. Stand by to fire. Stand by to fire. Stand by to fire. Torpedo tubes ready. Coming on the bearing. Hold her steady at 60 feet. Coming after one degree. One degree, aye. Steady. Fire one. One is fired. Do it this time, baby. Fire two. Two is fired. You too, sweetheart. Fire three. Three is fired. Fire four. Four is fired. Estimate 20 seconds of target, Captain. Sound. Running hot, straight, and normal, sir. Number one, two there. Now. She's missed. Number two. Miss. Three. Miss. Four. Some patrol. 20 shots, 20 misses. Up scope. Give me another setup. Can't do it. The range is too short. Destroyer's looking for us, sir. I can hear a pinging. All ahead, full. Take it at 200 feet. 200 feet, aye, Captain. Make your depth 200 feet. 200 feet, aye. Here she comes, Captain. Ready for depth charge. Full runner, all ahead flank. Report damage. Forward control board blew out. Run her midships. Take her deep. After battery flooding. Taking water fast. Hold your depth. Abandon and isolate the compartment. Abandon and isolate. Stand by for battle surface. Stand by for battle surface. This is the captain. We can't stay down here any longer, so we're going to fight it out up top. All men on gun crew, stand by. Give them everything you got. Let's make them remember the Corbina. Blow all main ballast. Battle surface. Radio. As soon as our antenna's clear, get off an SOS to the Marlin. Give our position and tell them we're going to destroy your gunfire and heavily damaged. Breaking surface, Captain.
Lieutenant? Yeah. How about you, Chip? Yeah. I'm okay. Uh. Hang in there, Barney. Hey, listen. You hear it? What do you got, Chris? Engines, Captain. Over there. Oh, they may be coming back to finish us off. Get ready to duck. Barney, if they spot us, play dead. That won't be hard. Yeah, they are. Ahoy, Corbina! Who are you? The Marlin! We got your message. Hang on, we'll give you a lift back to Pearl Harbor. <laughs> The Corbino was better than no hits and 20 times at bat. It's got to be the torpedoes, Admiral. Mr. Iverson here says the Bureau of Ordnance checked out those torpedoes. Then they missed a few. Gentlemen, this is a brand new war. There's bound to be slip-ups along the assembly line and up where the fighting is. Now, every torpedo that comes off the line is checked for malfunction. Ordnance against the final test. They line up on the target and fire it from a barge. With a dummy head, of course. Where could you possibly find a dummy head in ordnance? Russ. As of this morning, ordnance was still on our side in this war. What I was trying to say is that if a torpedo doesn't run accurately, we cut it out. And if it runs true, we ship it. Now, in my book, ordnance's book, that pretty well rules out mechanical error. Which brings us to human error. If a torpedo runs hot, straight, and normal from a test barge, then scores a miss from a submarine in combat, there's got to be a malfunction of a different color. I thought we'd get around to that. Captain, in the confusion and emotion of battle, a single miscalculation. One man popping his rivet, so to speak. Just one man. My men have been checked out just as thoroughly as your ten fish, Mr. Iverson. And every time that I fire a blank, I'm playing AC Ducey with every one of the lives on my boat. Tell ordinance to stick that in their book. Eighty-five lives riding on a torpedo that packs the wallop of a dill pickle. Well, a lot of other skippers haven't done so badly with the same brand of pickles. Name one! Here's the fleet. Take your pick. The squid. First time out, scored two hits and sunk 8,000 tons. Two hits out of 14 shots. The S-48, three freighters sunk. Two by our deck gun. Eleven torpedoes fired, one hit. What about this one, Mr. Iverson? The guppy. Well, before the guppy was lost, she sank two freighters. And just how was she lost? One of her own fish ran in a circle and blew the guppy's bow to hell and gone. Twenty-one men killed by their own torpedo. How'd you score that one, Mr. Iverson? Malfunction. Human or mechanical? Who psyched out, the men or the torpedo? What do you want from me, a signed confession? All I want from ordnance is a torpedo that'll run in the general direction I aim it. And if it happens to explode when it hits the target, we'll put your picture on the piano. That'll be enough for us. Yes, sir. All right. Now, let's wipe the steam off the windows and take a look at what we're up against. Now, all we've got between Tokyo and the Pacific Coast is a handful of submarines. And they're not getting their share of hits. So it's either the men or the torpedoes, and I intend to find out which. We'll take a load of torpedoes, chosen at random, fire them at a target up the coast. That suits you, Russ? Suits me, Admiral. Mr. Iverson? On one condition. What's that? I want an ordnance crew to do the shooting. <laughs> Just sign it, Russ, and send it through channels. What, a tender? That's nothing but a floating gas station. Right up my alley. No life and death decisions, all the excitement of a street corner back home. You're a submariner, not a repairman. In a month, you'll be screaming to get back in the boats. Don't bet on it. Submarine is no place for a guy who presses the panic button. 
Barney, our score on the Corbina wasn't anybody's fault. Nice try, Russ, but I heard about the test. Four shots, four hits. What makes you think it was your fault? A hundred things could have jinxed us in that patrol. Uh-uh. No, Russ, just one. Maybe I always knew it would happen when the chips were down. My old man worked under the surface, too. In a Pennsylvania coal mine. There was a cave-in. Twenty men lost. And a lot of talk that they might have been saved if one man hadn't panicked. That was your father, not you. You don't inherit a panic button like you do brown eyes. All my life I try to prove that to myself. And then along comes the war and the mine caves in again. It wasn't you, Barney. It was the torpedoes. I'm willing to stake my life on it. You'd lose. Oh, come on, Barney. We got a new boat, the Blue Fin. Wait till you see her. Count me out, Russ. Barney, if you quit now, you'll never know. You'll carry that monkey on your back all your life. Special mission. Maybe right into Tokyo Bay. How special? An island in the Timer Sea. Some British refugees from Singapore had the ship sunk under them. We're the rescue party. A milk run. I get the message. They're trying to keep us out of trouble. If we run into any trouble, I'll strap myself to one of our fish and ride it to the target. Find out why we missed. You still think it was the torpedoes, Captain? That's right, Alec. Even after the tests? It was the torpedoes. Let's get to that island before the milk turns sour. Oh. 